Hello guys, welcome back to another quick tutorial on uh, Cinema 4D with Film Effects. This time we're gonna go looking at making a little dry ice effect. So let's bring in a box here. We'll start by creating our our base. And oops. in a slight angle here like so and let's go in and get a text also normally with fume I work inside cinema 4d so please bear with me but I'm really excited about having it inside cinema 4d this really gives you a lot of options to make some cool VFX. Choose another font. And also we wanna tilt this so it's more aligned with the back plate here. think this looks good cool so let's uh, what we're gonna do is uh, assign some film fix collision tags to this and we'll make it a solid this tag make sure that the the fluid interacts with your objects so let's go up to my startup layout and choose a uh, film fix let's bring in a film fix grid and let's increase this and go to the fume general uh, let's see here for the width the length we want to cover the scene also we want some more height in there so for the purpose of this demonstration is just so show you quick and dirty you can explore yourself Okay, we have the basic setup here. Let's bring in a simple source because our smoke needs a source. So for this one, we'll change it to a box and the length should be longer than the text. Get it up here. And also let's see what we can do. Give it some width and also a little bit height and also the same thing let's tilt that a little bit move it back like so so just a quick little setup here let's go into the film fix the spacing <coughs> is going to determine of course how detailed your overall looks going to look uh, or your scene so make sure that you uh, wait until you have done some pre-sims before you actually uh, lower this value to something below the one centimeter because uh, it's gonna increase your render your sim time and render time a lot or at least sim time sorry okay just bump up the frames here go to the view pure enable gpu so in order to make the smoke fall down actually simple so we need a little bit more on the length like that so go back to the fume fix just make sure that the symbol source is in here you could have drag it down otherwise we wouldn't see it and also these three we need to bring those into the object sources list as well and go to the fume simulation tab so give it some more quality uh, advection drive good on one time scale this is the overall speed of your your simulation 1.5 what's your strength we wanted to block even though we, we wanted to block uh, with the ground floor 
this over to that negative C um, gravity and this is the one parameter that makes it fall down give it negative 5 and we'll give it some turbulence of 2 scale to 5 this is, this is the scale of the noise to make it more detailed you should have a low number if you just want big blobbery blobs then go up detail level 5 frames 15 this is related to the how many frames goes to run a cycle of this X turbulence we don't want any fuel uh, let's go back to the simple source and bump up the smoke amount to 4 like so and then we're going to start simulating see what we got Yeah, so it seems like it is reacting. Let's actually dock this up here. Yeah. Let's hit stop here and take a quick render. Definitely, let's bring in some lights one on each side and we can make this dark bluish the other one maybe a little bit more reddish like so and let's go into the fume rendering tab and let's we don't want to render fire so we don't we can just take that one off smoke so if there's any color for your smoke, we can, of course, bump that up here. Let's see what we have right now. Make that black. That was too dark for my taste. Like so. But uh, we want the dry eyes effect, so let's make it bluish here okay and also the opacity so we can just see the smoke a little bit better let's see here it's still a little bit too dark so let's go into the fumo fix illumination tab bring in our lights put up the step size which is a percentage of voxels <coughs> And basically, for transparent smoke, you just want to bump that value up if that's the look you're going for. So, going to the fume effects again. And let's see, bring our light sources. Like so. And let's see here what we have yeah because we don't have much of details yet so go into the fume and simulate quality is up uh, let's see here we have detailing up here 15 frame blocking smoke buoyancy we want to do we can actually bump this up to two this is just uh, also determining the direction of where it's falling up. So negative one just makes it fall. The temperature buoyancy, bump that up to 1.2. 1 1.2 1 should be good for, for this. So let me see here. And that was the temperature. Um, this point here, uh, the value, it actually defines how much the fluid will rise in correspondence with the temperature. So let's try go up now to our general tab and lower this. Look, as I lower it, see how the simulation size goes up. Let's keep it at 1.1 right now. Let's do another sim.
right so i stop it here and as you can see i just wanted to see uh, the the detail level uh, because uh, when we are ready to do the final sim i'm gonna decrease the spacing and uh, you can see i would probably go to for this one probably 0.8 and uh, let's see and that's still take up 8.7 gigs maybe even go 87 this will just give you a really nice detailing you can really see the smoke uh, while you're simming it so once you're happy with the look go down sim put the decrease the spacing to 0 0.7 0 0.6 something in between there do your simulation render it out and uh, then uh, bring it into uh, the compositing software so i've brought into after effect here and uh, here you can see with a few more fix how it looks like let's take a quick run look at how fluid energetic it is and how violent it is and that's the that's the turbulence look how out here <coughs> on the sides when it hits the floor that's because of the blocking of the blocking we set and i like how it's coming through the holes from the text and of course you can uh, render out channels so you can actually go in and so have specific channels for the smoke color itself so you can also composite that in here so really nice looking fluid few more fix inside of cinema 4d here's a another one i did a long time ago for my friend so a little bit of slowing down animation then i ramp up the speed again it from for his uh, twitch channel so uh, it just showed there's a lot of uh, possibilities with uh, with running with the film effects inside of cinema 4d i hope you enjoyed this uh, i like to see uh, all you all your dry ice effects so uh, you can leave that uh, up in the down in the comment field and then uh, please subscribe and uh, leave a comment if you want to see something else i'm gonna make a lot of more tutorials on this uh, film effects inside of cinema 4d uh, as I said earlier, I've been working with it inside uh, 3ds Max, but uh, it is just so uh, so easy to use inside uh, inside Cinema 4D. So initiative. So uh, I I really like it and I recommend it. It is based on the currently the best fluid you have uh, for uh, Cinema 4D. Yes, we have X particles, but uh, for explosions, dust, f and those kind of things, uh, film effects is not comparable with anyone else. So. Uh, Thank you guys for this time. See you again. Bye.